All right, this is my uh, newest plate configuration. Uh, this this side right here that you're looking at is going to be the oxygen side, which is the positive terminal, and this side is the negative terminal, uh, with the hydrogen side. And the intent was, and see, I you gotta you gotta you gotta get better control over your drill motor when you're poking these holes. It was close enough to to uh, demonstrate. But the intent was, I mean, if you were to put, match these holes up and all on one sheet of paper, you would have a hexa, uh, hexagon. So, so there would be one oxygen terminal for six hydrogen terminals. And you'll see, if you look close, you can see where the, the uh, screws, the, there's, those are uh, uh, 10, 20, those are one inch long, 1024 stainless steel Hillmans. And I'm telling you what, they're, the stainless steel, these screws, are not very good quality. Uh, anything less than a, I don't know what they are, but they're they're, they're, stain, they, they're stainless, probably a name only. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've tried to run it a time or two. This one I'm considering my. Uh, this is a high amp high amp unit right here. Uh, I could not on, on the on the. I had to retire the. I had to retire the old uh, power supply because even on the lowest setting it kept. It would draw it would draw six or eight amps with the previous solution <clears throat> so basically I brought out the big gun this is my uh, my 20 amp this is my 20 amp power supply it's actually for my ham radio gear if any of you shop at uh, amateur electronics you'll recognize what that power supply is not not all that expensive 20 amp supply I believe it'll go to I, th I think it's rated at 20, but I believe it'll go to, t to more than that. But uh, I'm having to use the uh, the shunt inside the uh, amp meter, so the most that I can go on here, or the most that I can allow it to go on here before I blow the fuse is 10 amps. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to fire this up and start gradually adding the uh, sodium hydroxide to the solution. And I'm telling you what, it don't take much. Uh, I'm wanting to say that I, I, I probably have less than a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm thinking more on the order of uh, 15 or 20 drops. It don't take much at all when you got this this much surface area. I mean that was what I was looking for those sharp edges. You can see what I'm talking about. This gets going. So, let me wander off here for a second. This is the hat I built, and uh, what it'll do is it'll sit down over the top of this. It'll sit down over the top of this, and it will focus it, focus all the uh, bubbles through this hole at the top, allow them to concentrate and become larger bubbles. But the problem is here in this tank. This tank's not tall enough for that, for that, uh, for the hat to sit on it. So I can't demonstrate that, uh, not effectively, anyways. But let me just show you what this looks like. Let me uh, just stick it in here. I got the uh, kilowatt set to watts, and it's in front of it's in front of the uh, this cable, up so you can see it. In other words, this this uh, power supply is going coming getting drawn its electricity straight through this kilowatt, so you'll be able to see how many watts it's drawn total system, and I'll be able to de demonstrate the I'll be able to demonstrate the uh, uh, amps being drawn. As I as I add solution to it, like I said, I, I'm, I'm trying to ease up to it so I don't blow my fuse. Otherwise, I could just let this thing fire off and just crank off and just let it go. But like I said, you got to be careful how much solution you add, or else you'll 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 exceed the cap capabilities of your system. All right, let me turn it on. We're starting at 30, 29 amps, 28 amps. Uh, I'm sorry, not amps, watts, excuse me. Uh, we're only drawing 1.34. So this solution already has a little bit of uh, sodium hydroxide already in it. And this will just give you a basic idea of... Well, I shouldn't do that. This will give you a basic idea of how that works. Most of the, most of the bubbles are coming off of those screw threads. So let me just start adding the sodium hydroxide to it. I should open that up before I start the camera work. Hold on. 
I'll be in the next video.